required remote air conditioner to this. If not, stick around and I'll show you how to convert it. I've been trying to find a way to remotely control my old air conditioning unit for a long time. It doesn't have an infrared remote control, only a wired in-wall remote. Now I finally found it and I'm going to share it with you. First I thought about using a SwitchBot, but since it is Bluetooth only, it meant that I had to buy a Hub Mini as well to be able to control it using the internet. And that made it too expensive for me. Plus it wasn't a very elegant solution having such a bulky object stuck onto the top of the aircon remote unit and also blocking the screen. I had to find another solution. So I thought why not solder two wires directly on the on off contacts and use a Shelly one as a dry contact switch. I opened up the remote, dismantled it, checked uh, the on off contact and found out it was impossible to solder the wire on the contacts. I, I was risking damaging the, the electronic board. So I tried something else. I used the glue gun to stick the wires to the board. The plastic glue has a low melting temperature and it can easily be removed. And it doesn't damage the board. I managed to do it after a few tries. The hardest thing was to get the wires to remain in contact with the buttons as they tended to stay a little bit apart. Once that was sorted out, I reassembled the remote unit. I pulled the wire through the same tube that was feeding the remote control wires coming from the ceiling unit. In the ceiling I connected the Shelly, powering it up from the air conditioning unit itself. I configured the Shelly as a momentary button with an auto off time of 1 second. Once that was done, it was time to test it. And it worked. Problem solved. I know this only allows me to remotely turn it on and off. I will have to adjust the mode and the temperature in advance. But it is the only solution I found and it only cost me about 10 euros, the cost of the Shelly 1. With the SwitchBot I would have achieved the same result for about 6 times the price and a less visually elegant solution since the SwitchBot is bulky and covers the remote LCD uh, screen. Overall I'm happy with how it turned out. I know I didn't do the cleanest job sticking wires to the electronic board, but they are hidden and I hope I never have to open up the whole uh, remote control again. I decided to make this video since many of you have already been asking on the forums if anyone had a solution to this type of air conditioning units with an in-wall remote control. I hope you find it useful. Just be careful not to damage the remote control electronic board while sticking the wires with the glue gun. You can then control it with your voice using Google Home or Amazon solution. I won't say her name to avoid waking up your devices. Adding the Shelly 1 to Home Assistant is then a formality with the Shelly for Hass or with the native integration. From there, the sky is the limit. You can create automations, scripts, interact with third-party devices, temperature sensors, etc. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. Until the next time, all the best.